Mm, hello, baseball fans. So, this time around, we're in the Super Mega Baseball 3 series with the Meme Machine. Franchise mode. Something I want to uh, do here is that uh, we basically have a consistent problem of losing stuff and me just not being able to keep up with the editing process of ripping down the streams. And there's the fact that there's nothing about the YouTube that isn't in the stream. So what I'm going to do here is this is going to be a new idea for this series, for this Meme Machine series. Instead of repurposing the items from the stream for YouTube, there's going to be a sort of game of the week type deal where we focus on one game and how the season's going as a whole once a week. And that's the YouTube thing. If you want to see all the games, please check out my Twitch channel. The link is in the description below. If you don't, that's cool as well. You can come here and do like a once a week catch up of what's going on. So today, let's just catch up on everything. So let's look at the season standings. We sit a half game out of first place in the Griffey division. Behind the Outbacks and the Slickbacks. Or Outlaws and Slickbacks. Six and four record. But some struggles lately. Specifically, if we look at our schedule, we have dropped... Uh, or pardon me, we, 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 we dropped the last game, but we did win the previous two against the Swordfish. Had some struggles against the Outlaws, specifically offensively, scoring just 11 runs. 10 of those in one game. So, there are concerns about the offense, but then we came back, got the 7 against, put up 7 against the Mean Machine, 10 against the, or uh, against Swordfish, 10 against Swordfish, lost last game 3-2 in a battle of the bullpen. The bullpen has been a concern. I think we can say that for sure. Because if we look at the bullpen, two of our main relievers, Javier Perez-Torres and Matthew Cleary, are pretty high ERA, pretty high whip. The whip is pretty high overall. And the batting averages, particularly against Matt Cleary, is 422. And that's our left-hander reliever out of the pen, basically. He's worked 10 innings for us. It is concerning. The starting pitching has not been amazing either. Uh, I think Toby Garcia has been good. I think Eric Hawkins has been perfectly serviceable. And then there's Sean Lawrence, who had one really, really bad start, and then has actually kind of stepped up and uh, and delivered a little bit better. The offense is very Byron Dirksen-centric. Five homers, 21 RBIs. As you can see, he's on an MVP-like season, hitting 410 as well. We do have problems with Ayrton Tobin hitting 100. That needs to improve, to change, to be better. And we'll see what we can do about that today. If we check out the league leaders section of everything, you can see Byron is leading the way in the MVP category. Sonia Liberto is also in there. I don't think that'll remain because I don't think she'll keep up a 561 clip hitting. But she does have six stolen bases to lead the league. She does have that good average. And she's, you know, picking up RBIs where possible. Uh, pretty amazing in that regard. There's your batting leaders, Sonia and Byron, both leading in respectively batting average and in, in RBIs. On base percentage, Sonia leading there. Byron's in the slugging mix. They're both in the OPS mix. Further down the line, she does have the most hits at 23. Byron does have the most extra base hits at 9. Very nice. And then Dougie Braggs, most runs scored. There's the stolen base count of six. She's been caught twice, but both were just me being stupid. And uh, running before the pitcher had actually done anything. And then as you can see, pitching is going to be rough. I mean, Eric Hawkins is in there, Javi, with saves. But 
not much, much else good is uh, is coming from the pitching right now. So we'll see what that brings us. We got some CPU games to knock off here. War Beasts and Cougars going to the War Beast four to two. Buckaroos and Firebirds goes to the Buckaroos. Slickbacks and Vikings goes to the Slickbacks. Diamond Sharks defeat the Outlaws, so we're one game out of first place. And the Venom beat the Buckaroos. Cobras and Knights goes to the Knights. Hawks and Springboks goes to the Hawks, 8-4. to four. Let's roll on here. So we're up against the Swordfish here in Game 4 of our series. We're sending Eric Hawkins to defend his 2-0 record against Haynes Cooker, who is a left-hander. Been pretty beat up so far. Offensively, they're very reliant on Jalen Richard, their third baseman, who has played amazingly. But the rest of the team is not really developed on the same level you'd like to see. Like, they're a power-hitting team that isn't really hitting for a ton of power right now. So there is that. Player development on the table. What do we got? Uh, we did get that stimulants for Ayrton Tobin recently. So probably not going to see any purchases here. Uh, we don't like the video room. We don't like the black market acupuncture. We don't like the bio source or the emery board. Beefcake powder. Kind of overpriced for Toby Garcia. Yeah, the great, it, it would be great to get extra velocity. It would be great to get that K-Man opportunity. But the minus accuracy is a bit of a high price to pay for it. And then on top of that, you know, it costs $1.6 It is the one that we're saving up for. But I am hoping something better comes up in the near future. Video room might expire at some point. Biosource might expire as well. So, we'll see. Okay. So, let's get on to the game. We got some negative mojo to deal with here. Steph Magus, Ayrton Tobin, Steve McGinnis, all problematic. RC Garen is back on that, though. So, let's do a position swap here and then give Steve the day off. Bring back RC Garen and we'll bring Rob Troon into the lineup. And Sean Kenny into the lineup to give the guys with the bad mojo a day off. Uh, also, Matt Cleary suffering for some bad mojo in the bullpen. Unlikely to see him. Uh, if we look at the rest of the bullpen, Shannon Drake's good to go. Hasn't pitched in a bit. Uh, Matt Cleary would be available if not for the week's the week mojo. Javier probably needs a day off after going 37 pitches in his last outing. And Travis Wallace. Uh, a bit of an interesting situation there. So we got a bit of a depleted bullpen today. So we'll see what we can do with that. I might do some editing throughout the game to uh, just give it a bit of a better flow. We'll see what we can do on that. And uh, let's get underway, shall we? I think we shall. Turn the volume back up. Swordfish Mean Machine, game four of a four game set. Jalen Richard leading his team in against Sonia Liberto and Jeff Crozier, who have been hot for the Mean Machine. We'll see how this goes. Eliberto, Braggs, or Garen and Braggs do up to start the game. Feel like we have a problem with the controller right now. Right? The second base Why is this? Okay, there we go. 11. Was having a hard time skipping over there. So Haynes Cooker on the hill. Gets the ground ball from Sonia Alberto to open it up. RC Garen steps it. Back in left field today after some time out of the lineup to. Nurse some bad mojo, and that'll help. That'll help. Going for two. 
Oh, gun down by the left fielder, number twenty, Doug Braggs, has had a mercurial at best season. And fly ball to Green Peacock. Nothing doing in the top of the first for the Mean Machine. Eric Hawkins takes the hill here in the first fourteen. I'm a bit weirded out that Glade James plays DH so much for him. He's a, he's a good defender. It's a bit weird that they use him as a designated hitter when they have probably better options there. Now battle the shortstop, number 50. Tatum Hamilton grounds the shortstop, Jeff Crozier for out number two. Now battle the first baseman, number 26. Just adjusting the sound here out for a moment. There we go. That's a little better. Strike two. And ball one. All right. Let's crack out the slider. Foul ball back. Really wish I had a fork ball handy right now. I love the fork ball pitch as a two strike pitch. Uh, for the record. Byron Dirksen, Luther Brandon, Jonathan Smith, the heart of the order here for the Mean Machine. Against the Swordfish here at... Now battle, the first uh, baseman, I forget the Emerald Diamond. I believe it's a spark. So. Haynes Cooker with a solid first inning. Or Hayes Cooker. And ground ball to Tatum Hamilton. The first out here in the second inning. Now batting, but designated Luther hitter, Brandon. Number 28. Hitting 310, two homers, seven RBI. And a ground ball to the second baseman, Chewy Nava. Puts us down to two out. Now batting, the third baseman, number 24. All right, Jonathan Smith. Ball one. Strike one. Strike two. Probably should have gone for that one. Ball we'll take ball two. Full count. And Smith is on board with a base hit. It's been a bit of a struggling season for Jonathan Smith, but he seems to be coming around lately. Now batting the center fielder, number 16. Now, Sean Kenny cannot take pitches because once we go to two strikes with the whipper ability... He becomes pretty much useless. Not that that was especially better. Fly ball into left field to Teodoro Terry. We'll face the heart of the order. Jason Richard. It's not Jalen, it's Jason. Richard Plunder and Chewy now. All right. Number 23. Power versus righties. Engaged. We're going to nibble around the strike zone and see if we can get a strike out of him because, frankly, I have no interest in uh, in giving J uh, Jason Richard much to work with. And if he's not going to strike, uh, if he's not going to swing, we'll, uh, we'll take that. Richard Plunder is the weirdest catcher in the league. They've used him now at three different positions in this series. It's very weird. Long fly ball, left center field. Sean Kenny tracking it and comes up with the ball. Bit of a bit of a scare there. Bit of a scare. The handle. Chewy Nava. Take strike one. Off the glove of Eric Hawkins. Now Advances now the runner. Fielder. Brings Number up Teodoro Terry. 
has the low pitch ability, so we're going to stay pretty high in the strike zone. And uh, not give him what he wants in a pitch. Let's try to cut fastball high and away. Yeah, nothing there. All right, slider. Wow, nice hit by Theodore Terry. That's going to score a run. Easy. Sean Kenny hits the cutoff, man. And RBI double for Teodoro Terry. Swordfish on the board. Center fielder, number 43. Green Peacock. That will end the inning. Jeff Crozier, Rob True, Sonia Liberto to face off with Hayes Hooker. That walk to Jason Richard. Coming back to bite the mean machine. Now batting the shortstop. It's one to nothing Number here four. early. <laughs> Jeff Crozier continues to be on fire. We got picked. They got picked off last time, but this will be a double now for Crozier. Rob True, strikeout prone. Which does mean we have he has to defend the plate here. Mm, there it is, that no contact with the whiffer engaged. Ball, time. Ball one from Cooker. Here I and that'll three. be strike three. Rob Troon sits now down. Battle, the second baseman, number eleven. Sonia Alberto for Come a on. second time today. If she can reach base, she creates a lot of havoc. The one, two again. We'll advance Crozier to third to give an RBI opportunity for RC Garen. Hitting up at the top of the order today. Uh, if that drops, it's not going to, though. Green Peacock has got it. We go to the bottom of the third. 1-0 is the score. Ginger Knowles leading off. Also has the utility ability. Very weird catching core with Richard Plunder and Ginger Knowles uh, in this uh, swordfish lineup. Bizarrely... Uh, Versatile. Pocket strikes out Ginger Knowles. Now batting the designated hitter. Brings up Blade James. And just past the diving second baseman, Sonia Liberto. James is on. Now batting. The shortstop, number 50. Hey! Now ball. Ball. Ah, anticipated it. Okay, so I'm throwing a two-pitch slider a little bit too much. Go upstairs with a 99 mile an hour fastball for strike three. The first baseman, number 26. Here. Here. Showing off a little bit of movement. Now let's try and punch it. Bottom corner four seamer. No, nothing there. All right, what about a cutter? I know I said sliders were a bit too popular, but we'll take that. Move on to the top of the fourth inning. Me Machine still trailing one nothing. Dougie Braggs, Byron Dirksen, Luther Brandon do up. Luther Brandon's been a bit of a disappointment since the weightlifting regime came into play. Uh, it increased his power considerably, but it hasn't really shown at the plate. Yeah. 
And he's going to need to produce a little bit more because he's got Braggs and Dirksen hitting ahead of him. They need that protection. Now batting, the first baseman, number 22. No. Ball one from Cooker. We'll take that one. We want it high if we can. Ball. Ball two. And that was a little too high. Fly ball into left field. Terry's got it. And it is one down with Luther Brandon coming up. Designated hitter, number 28. Ball one from Cooker. Ball two. Long fly ball, left field. That could go. And mm, had to stall the runners, hoping it was gone. Third baseman. We end up first and second when we probably should be a little bit more. Jonathan Smith with a chance to equalize this ball game, though. Two balls early from Cooker. Three balls from Cooker. Strike one. Bases are juiced for Sean Kenny. Center fielder, number sixteen. It's not been a tremendously productive season at the plate for Kenny, but he does bring a little bit of pop. Hopefully he can beat that out, and it will tie the game up on a fielder's choice that scores Doug Braggs. Jeff Crozier. Chance to put the main machine in the lead. And that'll do it. Crozier bangs home Luther Brandon, and it is 2-1 mean machine. Now batting the catcher, number 34. Bob Troon stepping up. Low. Hey. The 2 1 from Cooker. Ball low. Make it 3 1. Take it, and Troon will take a stroll down to first base. Now about Bases it. are base juiced base. again, Whoa. although not a lot of speed on this, so. For Sonia Liberto. Cooker is tense. Oh, please drop for a foul. Nope. All right. Well, 2-1. Jason Richard due up along with Richard Plunder and Chewy Nava to face Eric Hawkins, whose pitch counts a little bit high at 43. Two strikeouts, one walk, two, hit, uh, two hits. The only concern I have right there is he is... He is uh, on a day when we need the bullpen to have a little bit of a break. We have two bullpen pitchers that I'd prefer not to have to use. The fact that Hawkins is in the 40 pitch zone after three innings is a little bit concerning. Number seven. So I'd like to make quick work of the swordfish here. The second baseman, number 15. And fly ball into left center field. That'll go for a double. Relayed in by Crozier. Now back, the left. Fielder, number 34. Teodoro Terry. Hey, hey. Yes. Strucks out. Hawkins pulls through. And it remains a one-run ball game with Garen, Braggs, and Dirksen do up in the top of the fifth. Now batting the left fielder, number 12. Hey, hey. 
Hooker sits down Garen to start the inning off. Dougie Braggs steps in. Lefty-lefty matchup. What of two in the lineup tonight? Ball two. And deep in the hole, Tatum Hamilton with the play. And it is two down with Byron Dirksen stepping in. Number 22. Has been deadly, but Cooker has had the response for him, if we're being completely honest. Deep fly ball into left field. Solo run home run for Byron Dirksen. Continues his ridiculous rate of offensive production with a 396 home run, his sixth homer, and 22nd RBI of the season. Now batting the designated hitter, number 28. Follow. And could it be back to back, Jax? It is. Luther Brandon goes deep. And it is 4-1 Mean Machine, 416 feet on a rope. Third of the season, eighth now RBI the third for base Luther Brandon. Number 24. Hey, I... Cooker looking tense out there. Hi. Ball outside. Ball two. Ball three. And into set into right field for a base hit for Jonathan now Smith. Batting, the center fielder now pitching number 19. Brings in Colson Tenson out of the bullpen. 6.23 ERA, 2.42 whip on the season. So it's not been a great run for Tenson. But he does come in with a solid looking mojo. Got a bit of a sidearm delivery. Two ball, one strike. 2-2. Two -two. Whiffer engages for Sean Kenny. And a harmless fly ball. Will end the inning for Colson Tedson. And send us to the bottom of the set, uh, bottom of the fifth with Green Peacock, Ginger Knowles, and Blade James. Do you the face? The Eric Hawkins. Fly ball into center field. Sean Kenny. Unable to grab that one. Knowles will bat with a runner on for the first time today. Fly ball into right. That's going to be a double easily. Might score a run. Eliberto throw it home. And it scores. RBI double for Ginger Knowles. Number 14. So it is... 4-2. Still neutral mojo for Hawkins, so we in theory still have, although he is starting to lose a little bit of velocity, a little bit of accuracy, but should still be able to work some mojo. Now back. Be looking at the bullpen though. But this part of the order has not, despite being on paper, you know, the deadly part of the swordfish lineup, has not really had great responses for. Give, give me the four seam, thank you. Has not really troubled Hawkins so far today. He sits down James now and down. Hamilton back to back. Hey, hey. Oh. And quickly 2-0 to Hill Fernandez. 
Strikes it out. So Hawkins putting up the numbers. Crozier due up along with Troon and Eliberto in the top of the sixth inning. Now batting the shortstop, number four. Strike two. Foul ball. Foul ball into the stance. No. Jeff Crozier making it really hard to keep him out of the lineup at this point here in Mean Machine Land. He's going to go for triple. And Jeff Crozier. Now just a home run from the cycle here today. Number 34. Good speed on base as well. True hey. fouls it off. Whiffer engaged. Hey. And strikes out for the second time today. Now batting the second baseman. Number so 11. Yeah, Eliberto surprisingly still locked in despite 0 for 3 tonight. One and one. The one two. Ball time. Going home on the throw. Bad throw. We got a bit lucky there. No, Sack fly scores no, another run. Number twelve. They score that as an error. They didn't score that as an error. So it will be an RBI for Eliberto. No hits still, but did get her fifth RBI of the season. R.C. Garen chips one up the middle. Big play by Chewy Nava, but unable to get the out. The right fielder, number 20. Ball one. Ball two. Low. Ball three to Braggs. And the 3-0. Smacks it to center field. Base hit. Now batting the first baseman. Number 22. Okay. See if uh, Byron oh. Dirks has got another home run in him. This would break the game wide open. Outside. And Tenson is tight. Is tense. Bye. Looking bad. Didn't really want to accept the lock there, but what are you gonna do? Now batting the designated hitter, number For Brandon. 28. Chance to really get things going here. Does have that bonus power engaged. But. Tenson unable to find the strike zone. On a 3-0, they'll score RC Garen on a base hit by Luther Brandon. Now batting the third baseman. Now pitching. That ends his day. Kla Klaus, Klaus McClary entering the game. 422, 1.58, whip, 59 whip. Now McClary has actually pitched pretty well this series, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him perform above what those numbers suggest. Ball. And Jonathan Smith, RBI base hit. Now batting the center fielder. Sean 16. Kenny 0 for 3 with an RBI fielder's choice. Let's see if he can do anything here. We'll need to get a hit or a walk to get that second RBI. And that won't happen. Grounder to Jason Richard, inning ends, but the. Mean Machine put up a three spot, and uh, things are going very much their way. Now batting the third baseman. Jason Richard to lead off. Hit. As we've been doing kind of all day. Really interesting giving him anything to hit. Now batting. Fly ball to Crozier. Right fielder, number seven. 
Might as well see what the four seam can do with the dropping velocity. I'm a little bit worried about throwing it because, of course, you know, if you're losing velocity, it's going to be harder and harder to make use of that four seam fastball. But he's still throwing 96 mile an hour heat. Now back, the second baseman. So I'm not Number too, too worried about it. Paint the corner with the slider, maybe? No. Two seam inside. Got him chasing. Down low. Alberto with the play. And we'll go to the seventh inning. Up 7-2. Jeff Crozier. Just a home run short of the cycle. Rob Troon and Sonia Alberto do up. How bad it? The shortstop. Number four. Crozier has had a day at the plate. He's having a really fantastic season. Trying to play his way into more playing time than just being a standard utility guy. Backup shortstop, backup everything. The catcher, number 34. Whiffer engaged. Low. Ball one. Nope. Ball two. Hey. And for the third time today, Rob Troon sits now down on strikes. The second baseman, number eleven. Oh. League's best leadoff hitter, Sonia Eliberto. Fouls off the 2 0. Ball three. And she'll take a base. Now Extends the inning for RC Garen. Number 12. He's had a pretty decent day, two for four at the plate. Strike two. Oh boy. Oh. And that will end the inning. Teodoro Terry, Green Peacock, and Ginger Knowles do up in the bottom half of the seventh. Probably Eric Hawkins' last inning. He's uh, officially on the short leash right now, but to be honest, the last couple of innings, oddly, have been some of his best pitching. Now back, the center fielder, number 43. He's kept the swordfish pretty out of it today. Whip is down to 1.7, 1 1.17, which is very respectable. Double play ball. Thank you. What's their hit count? They've got six hits on him in six and two thirds. That is not bad. Two runs though in that time. And that will probably be the end of the game for Hawkins. We'll see, he'll come out for the eighth maybe. We'll check the pitch count, check the abilities. Let's see what happens. Dougie Braggs, Byron Dirksen, Luther Brandon, heart of the order. Coming up here in the top of the eighth. Now batting the right fielder, number 20. Probably their last at bats of the game. Ball, out. Ball one from Class McClary. And Doug Braggs makes it a three hit ball game with a base hit. Nothing more than a base hit, though. Braggs has been a little bit disappointing in that regard. Not a lot of extra base hits. Base now pitching. And McClary is done, replaced by the third swordfish pitcher out of the bullpen today, Dim Marillo, who's been very strong this season. The closer is in. Opens up with the ball. He's also locked in. Let's we'll see what he can do. Very late on the swing there from Dirksen. Before knocking that one. Oh. 
Rags going home. An RBI double for Byron Dirksen off of Dim Marilla. The designated hitter, number 28. Extra power versus righty activate. Base hit up the middle for Luther Brandon. Now batting the third baseman, Jonathan Smith, number 24. Strike one. Ball one. And double play. Scores a run, but a double play ball from Jonathan Smith. Second RBI on a fielder's choice today. Sean Kenny had the first one. And Grant's out to end the inning. Seven run lead. Do you leave Eric Hawkins in the game at 90 pitches? Probably not. Now batting, Probably not. The designated hitter, number 14. Now so we're going to ask Shannon Drake 41. to work a little bit here. Hey. Haven't pitched with her like all season, actually, so it's going to be interesting. That hair is a little dirty blonde. That really wasn't intended. She should have lighter hair. We might have to do a little, a little edit there. Now batting. Can't touch the stats in franchise mode, but you can edit things like name and uh, and looks throughout the season. So, this means that if you want a player on the team, it can still happen because we will over time lose people. And uh, needless to say. That will lead to new, new requirements coming in. Now back, the first baseman, number 26. Oh, bad pitch. Good thing nothing really happened there, but that was a bad pitch. Curveball. K Dud activates. Still gets it, though. Strikeout for Shannon Drake. The third baseman, number And you know the deal here. We don't want to be giving anything of note. Well, that one is a little bit on there. But we don't really want to be giving much here to Jason Richard. Get the out done anyways, though. Crozier, Troon, Eliberto, Dua. Crozier... Three for four on the day with a double, single, and a now triple. Batting, the short Just shot. needs the home run Number for the cycle, four. but Dim Marillo. Pretty tough pitcher. We'll take uh, we'll take what'll probably be a double. Now batting the catcher. Number thirty-four. Four hit day though for Jeff Crozier, including three extra base hits. He is ripping it up. Two balls to Rob True. But Make it three balls to Rob True. Walk prone for Marillo engages. Should not have swung at that. That was a bad swing. And now Whiffer versus BB prone. Wow. All right, we'll take the walk. We got lucky there. Got very lucky. Now batting the second baseman. Number 11. Sonia Liberto. Did get that RBI on the uh, sack fly earlier today, but otherwise been kind of an anemic game at the plate for him. We're not going to test the arm of Peacock. Not on that hit. Now batting the left fielder, number 12. R.C. Guerin. A lot of speed on the bases, too, right now. Crozier bails out there with an RBI now or with a run. The right fielder, Come on, Dougie. Three. Let's snap the single streak and go go with a little bit of extra bases here, please. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, I just sneeze right in the middle of the at bat. We're not running home with Rob True. No, sorry. Now sorry, everyone who wants to see a fat man run. It's not happening. <laughs> Hey, 
That was El Aberto at third. I test that arm. Uh, maybe even if it was like Garen at third, but long high fly ball, grand slam. Byron Dirksen is on an inhuman offensive tear. Seven homers, now twenty-seven the RBIs. Winner, number twenty-eight. What do you? What do you even do to stop this man? Wow. What do you do? I mean, the answer is probably you pitch around him because the rest of the offense has not been great. Killian Knox enters the game, the last bullpen option for the Swordfish. Base hit by Jonathan Smith. We're going to pull Luther Brandon out here for a uh, pinch running uh, Ayrton Tobin. Probably. Or Rick Abini. I kind of want to bring Rick Abini in as the actual second baseman, so we'll go, we'll go Tobin on the pinch hit. Pinch run, I should say. Doesn't really matter. Sean Kinney hits into a double play. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. Plunder, Nava, now Terry do the right fielder. Let's have a look at the Number teams real quick here. Seven. So we got right-hander, right-hander, right-hander. The next left-hander is Peacock. Um, so let us go to the bullpen. Now pitching. And give him another look. 51. Travis Wallace. The Meme Machine Closer entering the game. Sits down. Plunder. Now batting the second baseman. Number Admittedly, 15. maybe should have kept the lefty in there for Chewy uh for Chewy Nava. Who has this weird like anti-right-handed pitching uh, deal. Doug Bragg. Keep it hot. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, I'd go fork ball here normally, but I don't want to pitch low. <laughs> Foul ball. Byron Dirks has got it, and that is the game. The Mean Machine conquer the Swordfish 14 to 2. Uh, tremendous offensive effort just all around. A lot of people getting in on the act. Uh, not everyone. Sean, well, you know what? Sean Kenny, despite going 0 for 4 at the plate, did actually have an RBI. Or 0 for 6 at the plate, did actually have an RBI. So there is that. But the center field problem is becoming considerable right now for the mean machine. Rob Troon uh, also struggled, no hits. But uh, five hit day from Luther Brandon. Four hit day for Jonathan Smith and Jeff Crozier. The bats are coming alive here for the Mean Machine. Eric Hawkins solid. Six hits and seven innings, nine strikeouts. Shan Drake and Travis Wallace cleaning it all up. And, uh. Wow, can't, can't, can't really say. Like, I feel like they gave up on Class McClary a little bit too early. They only given up two hits. That feels like he could have lasted longer. Byron Dirksen, your first star with a two home run, six RBI performance, three runs scored. Luther Brandon in the mix as well as Jeff Crozier leading this offensive onslaught for the Mean Machine. So credit there. So that puts us a moves up to the top of the, uh, the division, only a half game back in the Slickbacks. So tune into the stream on Tuesday where we'll be handling this three-game series with the Diamond Sharks. Hope you guys enjoy what's coming up with that. And then on Friday, it'll be the Vikings and probably half this Buckaroo series. So I think. Any player development changes? Oh, Sean Lawrence has got target practice up now. 
Plus one velo, plus two accuracy, or plus seven accuracy. Such a bit overpriced. But wouldn't be terrible. Would not be terrible. We'll see. Actions going on there. Check the MVP voting. Byron's still at the top. Sonya's still uh, eighth, despite having a bit of an off game. Byron is crushing it though. Seven and twenty-seven. That is amazing. Now tied with Love Benwood at the top of the home run charts. Benwood's got seven homers and fourteen RBIs. Byron Dirksen has thirteen RBIs on the next highest RBI player. Wow. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. I do have another idea that might be tried out next week. We'll see how that goes. And uh, join us next time as well as on the stream. Again, link down below.